Welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show. Today we have a very special guest. We have Roald Larsen with us, who has just embarked on a new journey and he's going to tell us all about it. Roald. Thanks for inviting me, Michael. Pleasure is mine. So what do you do? I mean, what have you just started? So my name is Roald Larsen. I'm working a lot uh, around innovation, technology, strategy yeah. for large companies, but also together with a lot of uh, entrepreneurial um, minds and startups. Yeah. And you, what's the name of the new company? Well, the name of the new company is Untailored. Yeah, because it's the first time I heard it, I thought it was like talking about tailors, but that's not that tailor, right? Well, it's tailor from the 19th century. With a, with a, with a Y. With a Y, not yeah. with the I, but with the it's Y. It's the guy from exactly. the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, absolutely exactly. right. Yeah, so, yeah. But what did he do? So, uh, Taylor actually is responsible for the, the structure and the, the type of companies that you and I uh, both work in. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at large companies, they are based on theories originating from the 19th century. It's yep. the time of coal mines and industrialization and scarcity of resources. Yep. Scarcity of people, scarcity of knowledge. So, what do you do? You install processes to Structure, increase scale. Ex exactly. yeah. efficiency, standardization. Yeah. So it's a very different time in the 19th century as we are living in right now. But the big companies go because they still do all well, that based on... We are living in the 21st century with yeah. Facebooks and Ubers and Airbnb and blockchain, Bitcoins, yeah. Ethereums, uh, you name it. So it's all really new. So yeah. this type of technologies, they impact society at large mm -hmm. and really, really, really fast. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that you can do today is look at how these technologies are impacting the consumer, yeah. your consumer, yeah. my consumer, and they see, we see behavior shifting. But then, I mean, I get it. So behavior then the is shifting. Yeah. But then the big question is... And then is you have standardization. Yeah. yeah. We have a big company like a bank, exactly. Nara Telecom, and so like, yeah, but we used to do things like this. People yeah. like us, companies like us, do the things like this, and we are very difficult to change. And so if I'm a CEO of, like, let's say, an executive of a large company, and I want to yeah. inject it with, mm -hmm. or I want to do innovation. Mm -hmm. so, so what traditionally, we do Traditionally, I would go in one of these doors that I see lots of shiny new things and then I come back and I say everybody this is what the plan is for the next year we're gonna go do yeah. that. So basically what we do is we match entrepreneurial talent to the challenges the innovation challenges of large companies mm -hmm. and we unleash the power of creativity yeah. to this company. Okay. Traditionally looking at the buying process of a, of a CEO yeah. He goes to an inspirational event, he goes to Silicon Valley, he visits a lot of startups, an incubator, and he says like, we need to become like that. Mm -hmm. We want to innovate. And he comes back to the company, says to his direct reports, to his VPs, like, ah, we need to innovate, I want to be the Airbnb yeah. da, 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 of, of my industry. Yeah. Tribes, we need tribes because Spotify is doing tribes. Yeah, they that told classic me one. that uh, yeah. <laughs> consultancy told me that I should do yeah, like this. Exactly. So what yeah. happens, they send out an RFP, they, yeah. go, to the mar to they go to the market, they um, go to their suppliers mm -hmm. and their, their vendors. And by the way, I hate that name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so what they ask is like, okay, send me a proposal. And so everybody puts their best leg in front. It's like, yeah, yeah we can solve the world. We know about everything and da, 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 da. And you get the full and beautiful And I train picture. these guys so they have good presentations and voilà. they do the provocative selling, all the right <laughs> they things. They do a good yeah. job. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, but to. then afterwards, when you get hired, yeah. the contract is signed. Yeah, things start to look differently. Mm -hmm. So it's like typically like the, the, the it, 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 it peaks and then it goes, it's yeah. like, of course, it goes yeah. like that. So basically they're selling you large budgets, large projects, and then they, they mm -hmm. fade out. What we want to do is to flip that process. We start small mm -hmm. and we build into larger things. It's actually the same thing if I can make a comparison like the car saloon. When yeah. you buy a car, you go to the showroom, it shines, all these nice features. They want to sell you the full option yeah. and ah, think about this option and yeah. that. And ah, okay, I, I want to buy it. And while I'm at it, I'll take all the options. Voila, yeah. you're a perfect client. Yeah. Classic <laughs> buying patterns. I've said yes once, I'm going to say yes to everything. <laughs> well, like, give me everything. Yeah. 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 So I can show I'm working with this yeah. company. and all, 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 all. So. So basically, when you bought a car and I drive, and out, drive yeah. out, the value immediately bah. decreases 30%. Oh, it doesn't work as I expected. It doesn't look like it. So they oversold and then, so 
that's actually what we want to uh, yeah want to flip. flip. So don't promise a lot of things. Just launch some quick and dirty experiments. Yeah. Build MVPs. Build yeah. prototypes. Experiment with new technologies. So it, it sounds almost build like it into a, like it sounds almost like a organic. A very organic approach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, one day you made the comparison to me like like the growth of a human body. Maybe yeah. you want to explain it a bit. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, when you look at a human body, huh. how does that work? It doesn't grow like first um, build the arm and then afterwards <laughs> teeth, yeah. a foot and then one teeth. It doesn't work like that. It's utterly nonsense to, to do mm. it like that. And that's also what we see. So I like the cell approach. Mm -hmm. Like a cell is working on something and it has capabilities and expertise. It's like uh, when you compare like a new uh, young uh, talent coming from school, has yep. a lot of ambition. So he gets trained on the you job, entrepreneurial yep. management, all these kind of techniques like prototyping, growth mm. marketing, design thinking, all these new technologies, uh, all these new yeah, uh, philosophies. Yep. And when uh, the cell gets mature, it splits, it multiplies. Mm -hmm. We live in a time of abundance. In, uh, we multiply things. It's, yeah. uh, that's actually the same approach. Yeah, I, I love it. The, the bond you. thing, if I would be a corporate and I'm an executive, then you know there are only two spiels that you can do. It's either revenue goes up or either cost goes down. So I'm at the board in this very classical machine approach, mm -hmm. industrialized yeah. approach. The big money. The Don't big money the and then factory. I'm gonna do innovation. How the okay. hell do I get it approved? How mm -hmm. do you how do, how would you tackle that one? Uh, because question. one cannot fit yeah. into yeah. the other's process. Well typically um, so I work a lot for uh, for corporates and I see those boardroom discussions as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's especially at the time of year when you do budget meetings. <laughs> you have to allocate the scarce resources that you have mm -hmm. into new business or existing business. Yeah. And then typically it's it's kind of like, yeah, but I need an uh, extra amount of FTEs, I need uh, extra... Um, when you take the wrong measures, mm -hmm. so it's ROI, internal rate of return, oh, yeah. then when you measure Classic. innovation by those metrics... Cost of acquisition, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah those <laughs> metrics, it, 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 uh, innovation will not pass. No. No. So what I like to use is the value at stake uh, metric mm -hmm. is basically looking at if tomorrow this technology or this competitor will attack your business or the value chain, the industry in which your yeah. company is working is going to get attacked, which portion of the business will be attacked? Just will be gone. in danger. Like, yeah. On the other hand, a more brighter story, which opportunities do you get by applying technologies? Yeah. Which is creating a new market. It's actually the That's theory of like yeah. cannibalizing yourself to see see in a, in a different way how to can. Yeah, that's a difficult story, but yeah. of course, if a competitor will take away all of your business versus you can build some new startups that um, like not take away everything. Mm -hmm. What is the best choice? It is creating a lot of small ones instead of just yeah. cutting away the complete arm. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we had a discussion up front and we were talking about one of the questions I asked you up front was what if I have, I have a machine running and I have, let's say, a lot of people sitting in there and then I have innovation. Mm -hmm. Should I blend it completely or should I kind of keep it separate or how do I, should I inject, how do I, mm -hmm. what's your philosophy around that? Okay, good question. Um, well, typically we work for the people that work on the innovation, mm. on the yeah. outward looking, for the customers. Uh, we're not typically working for the machine. We're yeah. not rolling out the big transformation programs. We're not set, setting up these company-wide uh, ideation platforms. Uh -huh. We like to start small and inject it and make it grow naturally. So if you get, have a good idea, it will just yeah. grow. And you, you're saying like yeah. the machine still needs to run with all the classic yes. APIs. Don't because disturb the factory. Exactly. That's big money. Yeah. And it's like a bank today cannot say we're going to innovate today. You cannot withdraw your um, your money. <laughs> yeah. We're going to work on blockchain. It's going to be bitcoins from us <laughs> today. Yeah. Come back next yeah. week. Uh, yeah. Today um, we are innovating. dealing with all the legacy and yeah. all that. They have to so do. it's a, it's it's a real challenge for uh, for CEOs yeah. to work on that. Okay. I'm really curious to see how that's going to pan out. What we're going to do is we're going to share the URL. We're going to share some information about how this is going to look. And I wish you all the best with your new Thanks. endeavor. Yeah. If you like what you've seen, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know more, because there's a lot more content coming, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, Roald. Catch you later, mate.